What's up you guys? Today I'm at the Miami International Auto Show and you can see right behind me got the brand new Mustangs. This is going to be a long video so if you're into cars feel free to stick around to the end but I got a lot of stuff to show you so let's get into it. Got the 2020 Shelby GT500. This car is sick as you can see. Honestly, I think this is like the most badass Mustang I've ever seen in my whole life. Let's take a look inside. Oh, they locked it. Got that sweet Cobra logo right there. Look at those rims. The brakes on this thing are like literally from a race car. These hood scoops, everything on this car is just gorgeous. I mean, this almost doesn't even look like a Mustang to me. Look at that. Shelby GT500. Yep. Here we got the new 5.0. Don't really love those wheels, but this color is sweet. I love that black pinstripe right up the middle. This one we can actually get inside, so let's take a look around. We got leather inside. What else we got? We got stick shift. Still kicking it old school with the stick shift. These seats are super comfortable. Got a nice Mustang logo right there. 50 years of Mustang. The clutch, this thing pushes in super smooth compared to my Camaro. Very nice. I love it. I don't think I've ever actually driven a Mustang before, but it would be awesome to take this baby for a ride. Over here we got the new F-150s. Quad cab. This thing looks pretty sweet. It doesn't look too different on the inside than some of the old F-150s, but it does look nice and spacious. Let's get in. Got a Super Duty right there. Ah. Oh yeah. This thing is like, it feels like a mansion for a car, you know? It's got a lot of space. Huge back seat area. Actually, even more space, more leg room than my Jeep, it looks like. Very nice. Here we got the Monster Super Duty. It's got that 6.7 liter diesel power stroke in it, turbo, with the massive eight foot bed. This is the truck you need to move a house. You can probably move just about anything with this bad boy. Look at that. I have to rewind that and show you what just happened. It's pretty neat. See that? Got the step, comes nice and down like that. Help you jump into the castle. <laughs> wow, look at that sunroof. Huge sunroof, premium leather seats. Actually doesn't look like as much space in the back, believe it or not, it is uh, the regular F-150. Dashboard and everything looks a little bit more premium. I love the view up here. You can see just about everything on the road. Got some kind of sport utility set up on this Tacoma. This thing is like ready for being on the road and camping for like months at a time, it looks like. I've actually never sat in one of these either. Before I bought the Jeep, I was thinking about getting one of these and now I have the chance to finally get inside one. And it's just as I suspected, it looks and feels very small inside. So even though it's a pickup truck, I definitely wouldn't want to own one of these. The back seat is very compact. The whole cab is very small. Not for me. I like space inside my vehicle. If I want small, 
I keep driving the Camaro. Got the Dodge section right here. All the new Ram trucks. This thing looks like one of their new special editions. I'm not really up on what all these new models are called. Let's see. Oh, the Rebel. 1500 Rebel. This black on black is pretty sweet. Interior looks pretty nice. All leather. Arguably even more fancy and premium looking than the Ford for sure, especially with that huge touch screen in there. These tires are sweet. Lots of storage in the back. Never seen a truck gate open like that before. That's pretty awesome. You can see that being helpful in a lot of different ways. So you got the regular Dodge Ram here. It's the regular run of the mill. Oh no, this is the Bighorn Crew Cab. I don't know what's the difference between all of these, but I'll just show you what they got. We got that monster over there. The new 2500. And we're getting into one of my favorites, which is the Jeep section. As you know, I have a Jeep. Now that is a sweet looking new Jeep Gladiator. This thing was built for the off-road, no doubt. This looks like the Wrangler that we just took on the um, Jeep track. Actually, the camera is not even doing this color justice. On camera here, it looks like it's like a blue color, but it's actually more of a type of green. It's kind of hard to explain. Thank you guys so much for stopping by here. And look, yeah, like, Got new Jeep Grand Cherokees. Got the Summit right here. This is the premium Jeep Grand Cherokee model, the top of the line. Looks almost like ours. Nice color with the leather interior. New wheels. Front end looks pretty much the same as the Jeeps that they have now. <laughs> Sometimes the camera is a little weird. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Dodge section over here. All the sweet Dodge muscle cars. Challenger GT right there. Got the infamous Hellcat up there on the stage. I love these Hellcats. Such a beautiful car. Excuse me. Get the motor on that beast. Superchargers like the size of my whole engine on the Camaro. Got those super thick racing tires. Funny enough though, the brakes on this thing actually look smaller than the brakes that were just on that GT500. Love that neon green color too. It's pretty sick. Minivans, you're not gonna get much attention from me on this trip. I'm here to see the badass cars like this one. So you're probably not gonna see all of the cars that they have on display here because they have a ton of cars as you can just see here. Lots and lots of cars. So I'm only gonna shoot the ones that I think are the coolest. Over here where the whole crowd is, looks like we got the brand new mid-engine Corvette. From here, this thing looks like a Lamborghini. Doesn't even look like a Corvette. It's got black, blue interior. 
don't really like those wheels. But yeah, just the overall shape of this car reminds me a lot of like a Lambo or a Ferrari. Corvette definitely took a few pages from those guys. Hardly looks like a Corvette, but looks pretty fucking awesome to drive. I'm sure it's fast as hell. I got some different rim and color options here. Even have a If I saw this thing flying down the street, I wouldn't even think it's a Corvette. Wouldn't even recognize it. But still cool. Here we got the new 2020 Camaro 2SS convertible. I actually don't really love the way this new Camaro looks. I like mine better. I like the new Z28 that they came out with few years ago that was my favorite newest Camaro some nice leather seats in here another iteration of the Corvette over here not really sure if it's the same as the other one because this one's got the top down if they're both convertibles I like the way this one looks a lot better than the other one. This looks really cool. Just the overall styling and color of this car is so much more badass than the white one, in my opinion. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome into the Chevrolet display. Well, over here they have an area called Havana Classics. I probably won't know what most of these cars are because they were all built way before I was born, but let's check them out. These things are in amazing condition for how old they are. I'm sure some of them have been probably restored, but that one right there looks original. It looks like it's got some wear and tear, but still has kept up over the years. 1957. And they definitely don't make colors like this anymore. Those old bench seats in those cars made it so easy to get super lucky in there, huh? Can you also get the information from Dax? 1940. Of course, the auto show wouldn't be complete without coming and taking a look at this bad boy. They got a brand new Nissan Nismo GTR here. This thing is straight off of a video game or racetrack. This is an awesome car. It looks super fun to drive. I'm sure this thing handles like a beast. They won't let you get in this one, but it sure is nice to look at. It's so 
we get inside, yeah, you can't really see anything with the glare. Love that red. Beautiful looking car. Got the classic DeLorean here. What would a car show be without one of these, huh? Wow, look at this thing. Reminds me of a van that my mom used to have when I was growing up, but this is definitely a much more luxurious version of it. It's got a flat screen up there. Wish we had that on when all the trips to Florida. Damn. Seats in this thing look super comfortable. It's got this traditional van layout. You got some nice seats here. Talk about van life. You could live in this van, no problem. Back seat on this thing folds down into a bed, just like hers did. Look at this thing. For all you van lifers out there, this one's for you. Bet you this thing one-ups just about any van that anybody I've seen on YouTube has. It's like the flat screen and standard in these things. It's accent lights, everything like that. Unbelievable. Look at the price of that for a van though. Whew. Old Rolls Royce right there. Jaguar, Porsche. Looks like an old MGB midget right there. Got an old Corvette. I think it's nice. I always like those old Corvettes. Sweet. Got another Corvette over here. Actually a couple Corvettes. Got an old Stingray. Mid 90s or early 90s over there. Camaro SS. Old Firebird. This is a pace car Camaro. 1967, 396. I'm not sure if that was the big block or the small block back then. All you car buffs out there probably know better than me. I love cars, but I don't know much about all the details. And you see right here, they have my car. The Camaro Z28. That's my car, but the pace car version. This one looks older, I can tell just from the interior. This is probably before 97, yeah, 1993 it says there. And it's automatic. Still pretty neat. The classic Z28 right here. I love those old Z28 logos. And just the whole look of this car. This is so fucking awesome. This green. You can see, hopefully inside the car a little bit. That huge throw sh shifter in there. Everything is just so simple back then. Got the Z28 logo right there. Still staying true. Front end of this car is pretty sweet too. Another Z28 logo. 
Got the old caddy, the El Dorado. And somehow this just moved into like the supercar section. That should be fun. So I gotta say right off the bat, I've never actually seen one of these before. This is a Camaro ZL1, right around the same time period as my car. It's got the ZL1 logo right there. I don't think I've ever seen this car. It's got the T-tops. Not sure how old it is, but if I had to guess, it's probably like a 99. Looks like it's a little bit newer than my car. Pretty badass looking. Got the old Chevy 10 right here. This thing must be so fun to drive and so easy to work on. Probably the only like 40 moving parts under the hood of this truck. Looks like they put a nice little lift kit on it. Dual exhaust. Awesome truck. I would take that truck in a heartbeat. Got a bunch of Porsche race cars over here. Some Ferraris. This just keeps getting better and better. Got a huge G-Wagon there. This sick orange McLaren. Look at that thing. This is easily a 240 mile an hour car right here. Probably more. Nine Eleven Turbo. I love the. I've always loved the hips on these these Porsches. Look how that hip just like stands out in the back. That's a sweet looking Porsche. Another McLaren. That orange one was definitely cooler though. For here we got some Ferraris. I'm not sure why they're mixing the Ferraris with like this Toyota right here. This is kind of fucked up, but whatever. I didn't organize this thing. I don't even know what kind of truck that is, but that's pretty sweet looking. Got an old Spider right here. NASCAR in the middle. And Oh, they let us go inside. Let's check it out. Okay. Any of you car guys out there can explain this to me. The 5.0 on this Mustang is like enormous underneath the hood of this car. It looks way bigger than my 5.7 liter V8 under my Camaro. And supposedly that's based on displacement. So this thing has five liters, mine has 5.7, and my engine actually looks smaller. This is a sweet setup though. Looks like you got twin turbos on both sides here. That's a badass setup. Got the big old burnout tires on the back. This thing is ready for the drag strip. Check out this 5.0. This thing has some serious ground effects going on. Heavily modified. They won't let us get any closer. They have this stupid railing here. That's about as close as I can get. But from here, can see. And then they got an old Cobra right here. I've actually always liked these too. And I love the rims on these old Cobras. Special viewer out, to, out there might know this one. Remind you of the Mustang Knights. 
<laughs> Very cool. Got an older GT500 here. Check out the setup underneath this bad boy. Wow. That is a motor. And with how big that motor is, it looks like there's still actually more space under this hood than there is underneath my car. Incredible. Cars are coming such a long way. This looks like it's a... Uh, a shop that has like some custom work that they do. They got this custom Ferrari here. Probably all this wrapper on the outside. A couple of tricked out Jeeps here. Holy shit, look at this thing. Look how tall this is. I mean, I'm 5'9", and I feel like I could barely get into this. Look at the size of the tires on this beast. Yeah, it looks like almost everything on this is custom. This is the work of a local Miami custom shop. This thing could really take a beating, it looks like. This one's even got a go-kart hooked up in the back. <laughs> I have no idea what the hell this thing is, but it looks like some kind of version of the Batmobile in real life. I don't even know. It's like a huge TV in there, seats that lay down. Carlman King. Never heard of it. The outside of this thing feels super solid. I don't even know what that is, but it's like hard as a rock. This vehicle is just massive. I have to step back so you can kind of get a picture of how big it really is. In order for me to fit it into the full frame, I gotta stand like 10 feet away. This thing looks super tough and futuristic. Got something else like it over here. Wow. This thing they call the Rhino. That seems like a suiting name. It won't let us get inside this one either. Looks like it's some kind of Ford, because I see a Ford steering wheel there. The rest of this thing is all super modified. Holy shit. <laughs> We've made it to the infamous Porsche section. Actually, this is a 2019 model. Looks like they don't even have new models here, unfortunately. Still a pretty sweet looking car, though. You're in it, it's too late. You might as well just say hi to the camera, Lizzie. Introduce yourself.
Very nice. Hybrids here. Electric charging. It's the wave of the future. I guess it's coming whether we like it or not. I'm all for the electric vehicles, but to me, electric vehicles don't really help the environment as of right now because even though they're electric, we still produce electricity in environmentally unfriendly ways. So hopefully that will change. Got an electric Ranger over here. Charges in the front, that's pretty neat. Pretty sweet looking. Got the more traditional one here. This looks like the sport model. The inside of this thing looks super premium. Sport model 2020 Range Rover Sport. Sorry to get inside. Let's see how this stacks up compared to the Jeep. Oh. So, right away, getting in this thing feels definitely different than the Jeep. <laughs> um, the leather kind of smells like that leather from the BMW, which I've always hated that smell but it does look super badass. I mean, everything looks kind of futuristic in here. You have that huge glass sunroof, just like we have on the Jeep too. The seats feel a little bit stiffer than the seats in the Jeep. You can see they got the premium audio system in here. I mean, they better for this price. Overall, I think I like the feel of the Jeep better. Of course, I'd have to drive it first to see. Got some Maseratis over here, four-door model, convertible, Gran Turismo. This thing looks pretty sweet. I love the interior of this car. Is this the 2020 model? No, this is the 2019. Not a huge Alfa Romeo fan, but this thing actually is really nice. This Julia is like a family sedan, but super tricked out. This thing looks like a sports car slash family sedan. Even the wheels on this thing look awesome. And this red color is sweet. Yep, that one's locked. Bucky Charm on the side. Neat. Jaguar section over here. Not really a huge fan of Jaguars. Doesn't look like there's anything too exciting to see over here. Next, well, they got an F-Type over there, so let's check that out. I love that color blue, though. This blue color is beautiful. I might be buying my first I'm looking at a Honda Tucson. Because it's like, it's what I need. Got the 2020 F-Type here. Out of all the Jaguars, I think this one is the coolest looking one. Definitely James Bond style car. Can I get inside? All right. 
Let's see how this thing feels. Ah. If you need to adjust the seats, it's right here. Okay. And it's there. Oh, nice. Feels pretty solid. It does come in a convertible as well. Um, unfortunately, if you look at our manual, last year was the last year they had a manual. Now they only have uh, automatics. Oh, okay. But it has the paddle shifting, I guess. Yeah, paddle shifters. Um, starts off at 61. Um, they have a four cylinder option, which will give you like 296 horsepower. They have a V6 option, it'll give you like a 380. And they have some V8 options that'll give you like 550 and 575 horsepower. Wow. Nice, man. Cheese, my for camera. Cheese. <laughs> I don't even know what to say about this car. I've never been in one of these before, but it feels pretty nice. I mean, this seat feels cozy. Definitely feels like a rocket ship. Can probably take off like one too, I'm sure. We got a nice Lexus sporty model. Don't know much about Lexuses, but this thing looks pretty nice. What do we got here? This is the RCF Track Edition 2020 model. $100,000 race car. We got here some sort of Acura. The NSX 2020. Legendary car brought back to life. Starting at 157.5. Wow, out of all the new sports cars I've seen here at this show, this one is actually one of the coolest. Another mid engine car. They're all going this direction now. Even the kids love it. <laughs> got some new Cadillacs right here. What is this thing? This thing we got the CT5V. I'm guessing this is the 2020 model. This is like the race car of the Cadillacs right here. Let's see if you can see inside a little bit. The glare here is very bad. It's super bright in here. So, try to show you my best. So this part of the video is a little bit weird because I had to do a voiceover part of this video because YouTube flagged this video for a copyright claim because of some stupid song that was playing in the background. I know that um, it's not their fault but it's still annoying when you have to modify your video like this and um, you know just put in something whatever in order to replace the audio that was originally there. So here I'm just like showing the different Cadillacs of course in the Cadillac section and they had this song playing in the background so you're not going to really hear anything from the show but what I was saying right here is that all of these Cadillacs t today they just look so unrecognizable compared to Cadillacs from the past that you know if I see one of these speeding down the road, I probably wouldn't even recognize most of them as Cadillacs today, which is pretty crazy because I grew up around Cadillacs. My dad had a Cadillac, and um, now they're just looking so futuristic, but they all looked really cool, so I don't have anything bad to say about them. This is the two liter turbo.
That's pretty cool. He really cared for Infinities before, but this thing, I actually had the pleasure of renting one of these for a month in California, and it was pretty nice to drive. It's got some get up and go. It's got a 5.6 liter V8 in there, and it's very luxurious feeling. The only thing that sucks about this ride is it's a beast on gas. <laughs> Got the new Lincolns over here. This is like the most luxurious setup that they have here at the car show. I don't really care for any of these, but I just wanted to come and show you guys their whole getup that they have. It's pretty elegant looking. Very nice. Over here, promoting the whole outdoor message of their cars. I don't see any of the race models over here, so I'm not going to stop in. Volkswagen over here. Kia down that way. So we got the new Toyota Supra here. Another cool classic that they decided to bring back from the past. Very awesome looking. It says on the window that this is a prototype. Supra GR. Hatchback. There's no back seats in this thing. It's a small trunk, some audio equipment. Let's get inside. Ah, oh, I've never been in one of these before either. Wow. This thing, you feel like hidden in here. Once you're in here, you feel like you can't even get out. <laughs> but it's pretty cozy, especially for a sports car. This seat feels Amazing. Um, very narrow looking windshield here. Probably has some good blind spots in this car. It definitely feels sporty and fun to drive. I would love to take it out on the road. Too bad they're not giving test drives here. This is a Corolla hatchback. Got this badass looking Mazda right here. I don't know anything about Mazdas, but I can tell you one thing, this thing's built for racing. It's got all the ground effects, the aerodynamic stuff, racing wheels and tires, tint so dark you can't even see inside. Mazda TCR they're calling this. Huge wing on the back. Check this out. This is how I would like to play video games. This thing is like spinning and moving just like the car would be. This looks pretty awesome.
Auto Show's version of the gift shop on the way out. Hey, we out here live. What's up, man? What do you guys got over here? We got EMS, also staff, how many body paints? All right. If you want to try it out, free session. Not today. Appreciate Thank you, though. It. So you have a good one. I'm just selling a bunch of random things here. Hello. I do. <laughs> That's funny. A lot of cool stuff. A little two in one. Yeah, we have the entire kit on sale, so everything that I mentioned comes in the kit. So online it retails for one forty nine. We have it on sale for ninety nine. So if you buy a kit, you get the trailer for free instead of paying for the bus for it on top of it. Nice. Would you be interested in it? I hope you guys enjoyed taking a look at all these cars with me today. Make sure you put in the comments below which one was your favorites. I'm curious to see which kind of cars you guys are into.